Okay, so you're going to need your wrap. We'll be using that in the first half of the class. And then you'll be on the floor and you just need your mat in the room. It doesn't need to be. So right foot is back, left hand, and everyone place both hands on your thighs. I'm just at the top of the thighs by the groin, you come to the outside of the thighs. And just get curious about when your right heel lifts up off the wall of the floor. Does it go straight up towards your sitting bone, or does it turn a little inward or outward? Good. And and then the leg that you'd like to improve, keep that leg long on the ground and the other leg slide into standing. So I'll say that again, the leg that you'd like to improve, keep long on the ground and the other leg slide into standing. My question is, what's the bow and what's the arrow? I can't picture. So it's like we're, if you think about the long leg, right, is the arrow. The long leg is the arrow. Okay. Yeah. And you're drawing that arrow back, aren't you? Drawing that long leg back into your hip socket. Yes. And that is creating a tension somewhere in your, creating a potential for power, especially when you press through that standing foot. Uh-huh. And then, well, we don't have you release the arrow or anything like that, but it is what happens with walking. Oh, it's, oh, it's the pulling. And then they starting started having a dialogue, so I really feel uh, that I am helping my bones create a, a, a better connection. And in, this is like education. So I just went through two processes with you. The first being uh, process number eight. And so if you have your sheet with you, it would say tapping head, chest, kidneys. And I love speaking about this secondary title that Ruthie gives us, Pressure Confirms Alignment. My experience, it was the first time that I'd ever been on Zoom. And so that was a huge learning lesson for me. Um, and... Thank goodness for the wonder support that I had because I was lost all the time. But Cynthia and everyone was so helpful to, to guide me. And uh, believe it or not, I actually learned and I'm so grateful. You would think by now I would know, but it, I'm always learning. And Bones for Life is beautiful.